Good evening. First, let me start by thanking the board, <coughs> the board and the superintendent, for providing this forum for public input. My name is Russ McCubbin. I have two students in the district, uh, one at McGregor Elementary and one at West Middle. Uh, both have daily lunch in their school's cafeteria. Both have been in the school district since their very first day of school, and I expect they will both graduate from the district. It's certainly my hope and expectation. Um, I want to speak about the idea of privatizing cafeteria workers. And I'll comment on two areas, first being the impact on my own children, and secondly, the business consideration. I fear the overall effect on the students, not only for the services and oversight provided by the people that prepare and present the in-school meals now, but also the personnel that may eventually end up being the overseers of the students' daytime nutrition and serving areas. I'm acquainted with more than one cafeteria worker. I know them not only through school functions and their district participation, but even more so by the proximity of their homes and the neighborhoods. Um, these good folks plan, prepare, serve, and clean up before and after each meal served to my kids at school. I enjoy that they are also neighborhood residents and often also neighborhood parents. They are friends to the kids, friends to the kids' parents, friends to the neighborhoods they live in. In the vast majority, they are competent and professional, but even more importantly, they are concerned and involved in and out of school. They have an interest and attachment to the students beyond the walls of the school buildings. They are moms and neighbors and PTA members. They are field trip chaperones, den mothers, and brownie leaders. They are in a word here, right here with the kids and the kids' parents. Uh, if their wage is lowered, which surely it must be, or why would there be uh, the proposed change in the employee status, interest of the board, I wonder who will replace them. I'm concerned they won't be able to stay in these jobs where their wage is lowered. Some of them are already at a financial quandary, but stay in the job because of the reasons I just mentioned. They are here. They are district parents, neighborhood watch participants. They live here. They are dug in, part of the community. So they stay at their stations to do the good thing, to look after their neighbor's children while the kids are in school. I fear the loss of sincere and concerned oversight of the kids' meals, as well as their lunchtime behavior and interactions. The cafeteria workers would have now know who needs to finish the packed lunch, the student carried to the table. They look after the kids that need to provide it, be provided a district reduced price lunch. They see and they watch and they guard. Mr. McCubbin, I apologize. Your three minutes is up. Can you finish your talk, please? Yeah, I got more. I just, I, I, I asked the board to consider Whatever percentage, if you took the total number of their wages and benefits in incidental overtime, what percentage is that of the budget? A half of 1%, an eighth of 1%? If you were able to saw that in half, I don't think you could, but if you could, and you knock it down to a sixteenth of 1%, I, I ask you to consider what you're losing, what you're giving up for such a minuscule adjustment to the budget. Thanks. We appreciate your time.